were to tell you that there's a connection between hair relaxers and traffic signals. Sounds crazy, doesn't it? But it's not. Just listen a little bit more and you will see exactly what I'm talking about. Welcome back, welcome back. Hello, subbies, and what's up, newbies? That is anybody, just in case you were wondering. Newbies are anybody that's checking me out, maybe for the first time, maybe for the second. Basically, they are officially peeking in. So I want all my subbies and my official peeking inners to come on in, come on in, come on in. And what if I were to tell you that there's a connection between hair relaxers and traffic lights? Don't believe me? Well, just hear me out. Just hear me out. And I'm going to show you what the connection is. Now, you've heard the names of like CJ Walker and Annie Malone and their innovations in black hair care, including temporary hair straightening, pomades and oils and all that good stuff, as well as Marcel Grateau, okay? Now we've already reviewed him. Over here in this neck of the woods, the collective has already reviewed his innovation or his contribution to hair styling with his irons, both the straightening iron and curling irons, hence the term Marcel irons. Okay, that's named after him. Anybody who's late to class or just totally missed that particular semester, that'll be down below. But today we are going to review and go over the origins of the hair relaxer. Okay, so everybody take your seat. Class is about to begin because we are going to answer the question of where did hair relaxers come from? And when I say hair relaxers, I'm talking, I'm talking about the various forms of hair relaxers that we use today. So who created the hair relaxer? Well, I'm so glad you asked because that is what I'm about to tell you. Long before Walker and Malone, tribes in Africa were already using concoctions made of clay to not only groom, but to help manage and stretch their curls and coils. But it wasn't until the innovative mind of Garrett A. Morgan that would introduce to us a more permanent solution, if you will, and thus give birth to many variations of hair relaxers or hair straightening treatments that we see today. Garrett Augustus Morgan was born in Paris, Kentucky in 1877. A child of former slaves, he left Kentucky only having gone as far as elementary school and left for Cincinnati to not only find work, but to also further his education. And soon after landing there, he found work as a handyman as well as employed the services of a tutor. Via the money that he was bringing in, he was able to afford a tutor and again, continue his education, which was very important to him, especially English grammar. Now, while working as a handyman, he ended up working on sewing machines, okay? So he ended up working on and repairing sewing machines, which basically, which would prove to be the impetus for his appetite for inventions. As he not only learned to fix the sewing machines, but honey, he also improved on them and patented the improved version and opened his own sewing machine repair business. Now, riding the wave of this successful venture, he also had a tailoring shop okay, that he opened with his wife, Mary, where she was a very skilled seamstress. And one day he noticed that one of the woolen fabrics had been scorched. It had been scorched because of the friction of the needle in that sewing machine. Always the thinker and always on his toes, he set about to create a cure for this, okay, to help alleviate the friction and thus, you know, alleviate any scorching or damaging of the fabrics. Well, honey, one thing led to another. 
he created this chemical lubricant, used it on the needle, and in the testing of this new lubricant on the needles, some of this concoction got onto the woolly fabric. Now we all know how wool is. Wool has like a natural nap to it, okay? So he noticed after some of the solution got onto the fabric, it was no longer, it no longer had a nap, but it laid straight or straighter. So that was his light bulb moment. We all have light bulb moments and this was his. So he decided to take this testing a little further. He said, hey, if this is straightening the woolen fabric with the small nap, let me try this on my neighbor's dog, which is an Airedale. And Airedales have very full curly hair. So he tried it on the dog and honey, it straightened the dog's hair too. So he decided to up the ante just a little bit. You know, he's crossing all his T's and dotting all his I's and he tried the formulation on his hair. And after his hair reacted the same way as the dog's hair and the woolen fabric, he was in business. And the first hair relaxer was born. It was called a hair refiner at the time. The G.A. Morgan Hair Refining Cream. And it was touted to have straightened your hair in about 15 minutes. It said positively straighten your hair in 15 minutes. Okay, so that's how he marketed his hair refining cream. But of course, we refer to it nowadays as a hair relaxer. So with this new hair product in tow, in 1913, he opened his own hair product company with the hair relaxer being the lead product. The hair company founded by Morgan, the G.A. Morgan Hair Refining Company, not only sold hair relaxers, but other products as well as far as shampoos, pomades, and other hair care products, including hair dyeing ointments. So hair color or hair dyes. And in addition to that, cause he did not stop inventing, but as well as on that list of hair products that he helped to innovate, he also created the first curled tooth pressing comb. I guess the teeth were curled instead of straight. So he's the one that invented that as well. Now with regard to this first hair relaxer, he used alkaline products, okay, in his formulation. So at that particular time, hair shampoos and, and basically soaps were made out of lye. So a lot of people notice that with the alkaline solution of the hair relaxer combined with the lye soap that they were using to wash that chemical relaxer out, it was causing a lot of damage. It was causing some issues with the hair. So with that being said, that was the initial composition of the hair relaxer that was basically the basis. But it wasn't until 1971, that's actually when the lye version of the relaxer L-Y-E came out. And I believe it was through a company called Proline, which created Dark and Lovely, which is now owned by Soft Sheen Carson. So with the lye relaxers, at least the first official lye relaxer, it was made up of sodium hydroxide, petroleum jelly, water, mineral oil, and emulsifiers. And just like its predecessor made by Morgan, it was also causing a lot of problems with the scalp as it was very caustic and very harsh, not only to the hair, but also to the scalp as a lot of people were getting burns and having issues with the lye relaxers. So then another iteration of the relaxer came along, which was the no lye relaxer. And reportedly the first one was made by Johnson & Johnson and it was called Gentle Treatment. In lieu of lye, no lye relaxers contain potassium hydroxide and lithium hydroxide, which are said to be a little more gentler, okay? Gentler a solution or less caustic than the lye version. And then slowly but surely, there were other iterations to come along, other versions of perms, which would relax the curl, but not straighten it, like the jerry curl. And those with kinky curls are not the only ones who use hair straightening systems. There is something called a down perm that is widely used in Asia to help relax their tresses as their hair is sometimes known to stick out a little bit. So they use that 
to sort of tame their hair, if you will. As well as we all know about the Brazilian hair treatments and the keratin treatments and things of that sort where chemicals are put on and then it's sort of ironed to conclusion, if you will, or ironed in, flat ironed in to basically seal in that treatment and keep the hair poker straight. So his initial concoction, his initial hair relaxer, if you will, gave birth to many different variations in different forms of changing the structure of the hair, whether it's loosening the curl or putting a wave through it. His one invention has birthed a lot of different variations. But where does the relaxer and the traffic light come in that I told you about earlier? Well, honey, let me tell you. So besides him even being in the hair care industry, this man, Garrett A. Morgan, was a very prolific inventor in that he invented the breathing mask or breathing device, which became the precursor and prototype of the gas masks that were used in World War I. Now listen to this. Not only did he create that, being the first black man to own a car in Cleveland, yes, the very first one, he invented a friction drive clutch, clutch that would help in, improve the, the whole car th situation. Yes, that, that was him. But after witnessing a carriage accident at a very busy intersection, okay, he came up with an idea to improve the traffic light in that it would have a system where it would warn the driver that they would need to stop. Thus giving birth to the three-way light that we use today on our streets. Now he held on to this patent and he later sold it to General Electric for $40,000. But honey, he invented the traffic light, the modern day traffic light that we use today. So I told you there was a connection between relaxers and traffic lights. As crazy as it sounds, as crazy as you thought I was, I'm not crazy. That is the connection in that the same man, Garrett Augustus Morgan, created not only the hair relaxer, but the traffic light, the modern day traffic light that we use today. So there lies the connection. He's left his mark and left his thumbprint on many different innovations that touched many different industries, including the hair industry. I told you I was telling the truth. Now, I told y'all. So, that is the history behind hair relaxers, okay? I hope we had a good old lesson today, class, because this one was an eye-opener and definitely interesting to know. So, with that being said, we are going to put a button on it and get up out of here. Okay, so that wasn't too bad, right? We were in and out, okay? I want to thank you so much for dialing in and showing up. I really do appreciate it. I really do. I really do. And yeah, we'll be back talking about some more stuff. Honey, we got more stuff on the way. So you gotta come back for that. So you already know. It's going to be the same Dolce dial. It's going to be the same Dolce channel. So you come on back. All right.